Hey guys, it's Miss Sammy. Today we're gonna make some simple pinwheels. Um, these are the baked kind, not the kind you use for tortillas. So, we have pizza crust. Um, well, we have ham falling out of the bucket. We have turkey. We have pepperoni. We have garlic and Italian seasoning. Melted butter mozzarella cheese, and cheddar, or mild cheddar cheese. Mild cheddar cheese. So, I've already got one of my pizza doughs out, and I have a pan, it's already been sprayed, and I have my oven on 350 degrees preheat. So, what we're gonna do is take our Italian seasoning and our garlic, and we're gonna mix it in with our melted butter. And I have a regular basting brush. And we're just gonna mix it so that the butter and all the seasoning gets mixed up pretty good. Now, we're just gonna take it and lightly spread some on here just to give it a little bit of flavor. Doesn't have to be a lot. Now we've done that. So, now we're gonna start with our cheese. I'm gonna do the pepperoni ones first. I have one kid that likes the pepperonis and one kid that likes the ham and the turkey. So, we're gonna lay our cheese out. And you can cut these in half, you can do whatever works. We're gonna do two rows of cheese. All right. And so now we're just gonna take our pepperonis and we're gonna lay them out. Just like making a pizza. Now you can add, instead of the butter, you can do pepperoni, uh, pizza sauce and do it like you're making a pizza. Just don't put it on thick Make it a very thin layer or else you'll have a huge mess when you go to roll this up. Yes, my kids like pepperonis. We've eaten these for dinner sometimes. They're good for a snack. They're actually even good reheated. All right, so now we've got half of it empty, half of it with pepperonis and cheese. We're gonna start over here and we're just gonna start rolling it up. Now we've got this giant log. And if you want to go further with it, you can. I don't. Now you're just going to start cutting them. You don't want to cut them too thick. You want to lay them on your pan. Now I'm cutting them about half an inch to an inch. You cut them too much thicker and they don't get cooked all the way. This is something that kids can help you make. You can use just about any kind of meat. 
You can change it up, and instead of using um, pizza dough, you can do it with tortillas. You can use cream cheese. You can add lettuce, spinach, several different vegetables. And I'll add a couple of different recipes in the comments for you. All right. So while this one is baking, we will start making our other one. But before we put it in the oven, we're gonna take our basting brush. We're gonna use our same little mixture of butter and seasoning. And we're just gonna brush across the tops of these. Again, it doesn't take much. And you bake them just like you normally would, any kind of rolls, probably about 10 minutes. Watch them when the tops start getting brown. Um, double check, make sure your insides are done, but they will be done. And you'll have a simple, easy snack or dinner for you and the kids. For those nights that you don't want to do a whole, whole lot of work and the kids have been bugging you to get in the kitchen and make something, this is it. So, let's get this over here in the oven. Grab another pan. And we'll get my assistants over here out of the camera to spray that pan down for us while I open this up. Thank you, ma'am. So you see the pizza dough just comes out like a roll. I believe you can buy it frozen also. And I just spread it out. Now this one I'm gonna cut in half. Do half ham and half turkey. So they'll be smaller logs. I don't want it to be too thin when I'm spreading it out. So I'm gonna take some cheddar cheese. Pan on this one. do turkey on this one. You can do chicken in these guys. Just about anything.
Hold on. Now, I did forget to spread this stuff on the bottom of this one, but it is not going to hurt it. And if y'all have a fun recipe to share with us, please do so. Show us how your pinwheels turn out. You can post them to our Hardin County 4-H Facebook page. You can send them to us through Remind, an email, pictures of them. This one's our ham one. You can put as little meat or as, as much as you want in there. This just keeps them from drying out and gives them a little bit of extra flavor. these over here and check on these others. Okay guys, we've gotten ours cooked and they're out of the oven and so these are our pepperonis, which my kids have already attacked the oven and gotten half of them off and this is all that's left. And these are, they don't know they're out of the oven yet, uh, but wait for it, the ham and the turkey. So there is our ham and there is our turkey. So Easy, simple. It did take a little bit longer than 10 minutes just to get them to brown, but it is well worth it and they love them. So have a great day and we'll see you next week.